Hi, Chris Rossetti here from D910sports.com. I wanted to take a second to tell you about one of the best restaurants in all of western Pennsylvania, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, PA. With indoor and outdoor dining, you can enjoy prime rib all weekend long, or perhaps it is their full wings served on Thursday wing nights that you're after. From celebrating a special occasion to hanging out with family and friends, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg is the place to be. As they like to say, you come for the food and you stay for the view. Reserve your table today at AlleghenyGrill.com. Need plumbing, heating, or air conditioning services in Western PA? Then call Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning in Clarion today at 814-226-8695. At Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning, we believe that a service-oriented business like ours should give you quality care and a quick response time. That's why we stand on our promise, offering you reliable 24-hour service that gets your job done right when you need it. We can also be found on the web at lutonsplumbing.com. Again, that number is 814-226-8695. Fran Morelli Sales and Service is a family-owned and operated used car dealership and auto repair facility that has been serving Brockway, Pennsylvania since 1976. At Fran Morelli Sales and Service, we stock a wide variety of used cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs. You never have to worry about buying a vehicle from us with each of our vehicles in our inventory going through a rigorous inspection process to make sure that your vehicle is in the best condition. Call our team of experts today at 814 265 one three three zero and check us out at franmorelli.com what's the recipe for surprising the kids treating yourself and ditching dish duty you're looking at it order your pizza hut faves like original pan original stuffed crust and more at pizzahut.com no one out pizzas the hut are you hungry? Of course you're hungry. And Daddy's on Main Street in Clarion is ready to tackle that hunger for you. Serving amazing food since 2008, Daddy's has been Clarion's go-to stop whenever hunger strikes. Whether it's a good old-fashioned hot dog or hamburger, a salad, or something from their rotating chef's menu. Yes, I said rotating chef's menu. Daddy has you covered. You can order ahead by calling 814-223-4687 or come on in and dine in. Have a big event you are catering? Daddy's can do that too. Like Daddy's on Facebook at Daddy's Clarion and stop in today. You won't be disappointed. Are you looking for a great place to relax and enjoy the fresh mountain air of the Susquehannock State Forest in the Allegheny Mountains? Then the Potter County Campground is the place for you. Your outdoor adventure starts at the Potter County Campground with family and friends. The Potter County Campground can accommodate all your camping needs. Whether you camp in a tent, RV, or one of their camping cabins, they have a camping experience for you. Open year-round, the 44-acre Potter County Campground is located in the heart of Potter County, God's country. Check them out online at pottercountycamping.com. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of High School Basketball on the YDL sports network d9 and 10 sports.com chris rosetti jess quinn here from clarion high school where the red bank valley bulldogs get ready to take on the clarion bobcats in what should be exciting case at crossover action you know what, Chris, I'm really looking forward to this game. I, I really think they have a similar styles of offense. I think, you know, looking at Clarion, are they going to press Red Bank? You know, Red Bank has a lot of athletes on the floor. I'm really excited for this game. I think it's going to be uh, very, very exciting, much just like that JV game was. It had gone into overtime with Clarion uh, coming out victorious. But I really think tonight is going to be a very, very exciting uh, boys KSAC crossover game for us. No question. And uh, Red Bank Valley comes in as a hot team. The Bulldogs, after a 57-42 win over Union on Tuesday, have won five in a row. And uh, that pushes Red Bank Valley's record now to a uh, more respectable situation here at 7-8 and eight after a slow start for a young Bulldogs team that had to replace two 1,000-point scorers from last year and uh, three really good players. I tell you what, you know, looking at what uh, Coach Marshall has done this year, uh, you know, they did get off to a slow start. And then you look at uh, Orts joining the team and, and you, you know, you just, you, you get athletes on the floor. You know, I don't care if you're a polished basketball player, ball handler, shooter, whatever. You're an athlete, you're on the floor. You can help your team win just by playing defense, uh, by rebounding, being quick up the floor, down the floor, and things like that. So I'm really uh, looking forward to this game tonight, watching Red Bank Valley, who did, Chris, get off of that slow start and now have really come on in the last five games. Yeah, Clarion, on the other hand, they come in at 10-4, and four. 
but the Cats are only four and three since starting the season at six and one. That included a loss in their opener, followed by a six-game win streak. But uh, then a little bit of struggle. They are coming off of a 74-47 win over Cranberry on Tuesday. They are, um, you know. And I was here and I watched uh, Clarion take on CL. And I tell you what, they ended up losing that game. But for much of that game, Chris, Claren was out ahead. Um, and they did it with Gabe Simcoe inside. Um, when CL had to collapse on to Gabe Simcoe, they ended up you know, opening up the outside shot for Devin Lauer, Bryce Brinkley, Dawson Smale. Um, you know, so I'm looking at, at them. And, you know, they're a very, very exciting team. Again, a young team. One senior on this team in uh, McKinley, but everybody else, junior, sophomore, and some really exciting freshmen for Clarion Bobcats. We're going to take a closer look at some of those players here in a minute after we thank some of our more some more of our sponsors. You're watching High School Basketball on the YDL Sports Network, G9IntenseSports.com, powered by the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, where, Jess, I know you know this, but so our audience knows it. They're doing buffets every Sunday now. It starts 9 to 11 with breakfast. 11 to 1 is brunch. I mean, who doesn't want brunch, right? Brunch is great. And then from 1 to 4, it's dinner. So uh, that's the Allegheny Grill on Sundays. Make sure you get on down there. Tell Dewey Irwin we sent you. <laughs> well, come for the, the food, come, stay, stay for, for the, the view. view. That's right. <laughs> See AlleghenyGrill.com. We'll be back after these messages. Are you looking for a great place to relax and enjoy the fresh mountain air of the Susquehannock State Forest in the Allegheny Mountains? Then the Potter County Campground is the place for you. Your outdoor adventure starts at the Potter County Campground with family and friends. The Potter County Campground can accommodate all your camping needs. Whether you camp in a tent, RV, or one of their camping cabins, they have a camping experience for you. Open year-round, the 44-acre Potter County Campground is located in the heart of Potter County, God's country. Check them out online at pottercountycamping.com. Golfing at one of the prettiest golf courses around is what you get when you play around at Hunter Station Golf Club just outside of Tanesta. Located in the Allegheny Mountains with a spectacular view of the Allegheny River, Hunter Station offers something for everyone. The rolling hills of the front nine coupled with a back nine situated along the banks of the Allegheny River create some of the best views in all of northwestern PA. And when you're done with your round, enjoy a delicious meal or a cold drink in our restaurant and bar. Looking for a place to stay? Hunter Station has you covered there too with play and stay packages. Are you looking for a great place to relax and enjoy the fresh mountain air of the Susquehannock State Forest in the Allegheny Mountains? Then the Potter County Campground is the place for you. Your outdoor adventure starts at the Potter County Campground with family and friends. The Potter County Campground can accommodate all your camping needs. Whether you camp in a tent, RV, or one of their camping cabins, they have a camping experience for you. Open year-round, the 44-acre Potter County Campground is located in the heart of Potter County, God's country. Check them out online at pottercountycamping.com. Back here at Clarion High School getting ready for this matchup between Red Bank Valley and Clarion. It's been a busy week for Red Bank. This is their third game uh, of the week. Started out in dramatic fashion down at uh, Homer Center where Mason Klaus with a layup with about 14 seconds to go. Uh, really just made a great move on the play. Uh, took his guy one-on-one -on -one right through the lane uh, and uh, won the game for him 38-37. Then the win over Union on Tuesday. Uh but not a lot of practice time for the Bulldogs. Not a lot of practice time. And I tell you what, any sport you play, I don't care if it's basketball, it doesn't matter. Uh, you have three games in a week, you know, and this is the third of the three. Um, your legs might get a little tired. You know, sometimes you just need a rest. You come in, need to shoot the ball, win those practices, not not be intense. But that's kind of, you know, what you get when you compact the schedule a little bit. You play out of conference, things like that. And then you got to come in and play three games in one week. Kind of be tough. Um, we'll see if that has any effect on the Red Bank Valley Bulldogs tonight. And then you've got the, this Clarion team coming off of uh, playing on Tuesday night, their only game of the week. Now, both teams after tonight, they don't play again until next Wednesday. So it's kind of a strange schedule for both teams. It is, you know, and you're playing on a Thursday night and then having Friday off, Saturday off, you know, not to play until, you know, next week is, um, I, I think for Red Bank, actually, you know, uh, will be a much needed rest um, for Clarion, sometimes you want 
you know, to get the game either every other night or maybe have a rest uh, in between. Um, you know, but you're, you're looking at two, two teams that are young. They are athletic. They're fast. You know, they, I think they can handle that, you know, that kind of a stretch, Chris. Unlike you and me, which might have trouble at our age doing that. <laughs> I have trouble just stretching. How about that? <laughs> uh, Chaz says, as we take a look at our All-American Awards and Engraving players to watch, uh, All-American Awards and Engraving, put almost anything on almost everything, allamericanhq.com. What are some of your thoughts, and, and who are some of the players that people need to really be looking out for tonight? Well, from the Red Bank side, you know, you mentioned it earlier. You're, you're talking about both um, Mason and Owen Klaus. They probably hate that from the time they're little. They're probably always, you know, you know, matched up together and everything. But the two of them score 24 points a game. I think that's going to cause some, you know, some some havoc for Clarion, give, give him a little bit of trouble. Um, but I'm also looking at. Um, let me see here. Aiden Orts, you know, I mentioned him earlier. Didn't necessarily, he didn't come out right away, but, you know, he talked to his teammates and everything. And and when you're an athlete and, and you like to compete, you know, he gets back on the floor. He's starting to get his shot down. So, I, you know, I think he's also a player to watch. And uh, Braylon Wagner at 8.2 points per game. I really think, in, uh, and he's a young, young player, um, you know, it, it might be a little bit of, uh, a little bit of trouble for, for Clarion, uh, if they sit back in that zone, they might be able to bomb away from the outside. Now, Clarion, on the other hand, um, you know, I'm curious to see, are they going to press Red Bank? I mean, they're, they're known to press, they're known to be have an aggressive full-court defense. Are they going to fall back into their half-court, you know, 1-2-2 two, two, or 3-2 kind of a defense, or will they stay man and pressure them? That's really what I'm looking for offensively. Um, I really think that, that for Clarion to be successful, they really have to get Gabe Simcoe involved early in the game, Chris. Uh, he was involved early in the game against CL, but then they really didn't go to him in the second half. CL didn't have an answer for him in the first half. And, um, you know, they didn't. They, they kind of went away from him in the, in the second half, and CL clawed their way back in, got the lead, and, and ended up winning that game. So I think for Clarion, you got to get Gabe Simcoe involved. Like I said before, it packs the paint. Your defense has to collapse on him. Then that opens up for Devin Lauer, Dawson Smale, and and uh, Bryce Brinkley on the outside, and they can knock down those threes. Well, folks, we're going to step aside. We're going to thank a few more of our sponsors. When we come back, it will be closing in on time for your starting lineup. You're watching High School Basketball on the YDL Sports Network, D9 and 10 Sports.com, powered by the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg. Hi, Chris Rossetti here from D9 and 10 Sports.com. I wanted to take a second to tell you about one of the best restaurants in all of Western Pennsylvania, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, PA. With indoor and outdoor dining, you can enjoy prime rib all weekend long, or perhaps it is their full wings served on Thursday wing nights that you're after. From celebrating a special occasion to hanging out with family and friends, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg is the place to be. As they like to say, you come for the food and you stay for the view. Reserve your table today at AlleghenyGrill.com. Need plumbing, heating, or air conditioning services in Western PA? Then call Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning in Clarion today at 814-226-8695. At Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning, we believe that a service-oriented business like ours should give you quality care and a quick response time. That's why we stand on our promise, offering you reliable 24-hour service that gets your job done right when you need it. We can also be found on the web at lutonsplumbing.com. Again, that number is 814-226-8695. Fran Morelli Sales and Service is a family-owned and operated used car dealership and auto repair facility that has been serving Brockway, Pennsylvania since 1976. At Fran Morelli Sales and Service, we stock a wide variety of used cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs. You never have to worry about buying a vehicle from us with each of our vehicles in our inventory going through a rigorous inspection process to make sure that your vehicle is in the best condition. Call our team of experts today at 814 265 one three three zero and check us out at franmorelli.com what's the recipe for surprising the kids treating yourself and ditching dish duty you're looking at it order your pizza hut faves like original pan original stuffed crust and more at pizzahut.com no one out pizzas the hut Are you hungry? Of course you're hungry. And Daddy's on Main Street in Clarion is ready to tackle that hunger for you. Serving amazing food since 2008, Daddy's has been Clarion's go-to stop whenever hunger strikes. Whether it's a good old-fashioned hot dog or hamburger, a salad, or something from their rotating chef's menu. Yes, I said rotating chef's menu. Daddy has you covered. You can order ahead by calling 814-223-4687 or come on in and dine in. Have a big event you are catering? Daddy's can do that too. Like Daddy's on Facebook at Daddy's Clarion and stop in today. You won't be disappointed. 
back here at Clarion High School. I want to remind folks that our broadcast booth brought to you by the Rehab Center, Chiropractors Caring for Health, the rehabcenters.com with eight locations to serve you, including in Catanning, Clarion, and Brookfield. Game stream brought to you by the Computer Guru and Leaper, the computerguru.net. Drive to the game by the Warren Tire Center, warrentirecenter.com. Time for our Freedom Investment Management game. Uh, starting lineups here in a moment, but we're going to have our national anthem first. Uh, it's going to be sung by uh, Rihanna Dittman. Uh, and, folks, you're going to want to stick here for this one because uh, she's a fantastic singer, Jess, and uh, it really does a really great job here. She does. I had her in fourth grade. Sweet young lady in an incredible voice. Fantastic job again by Ms. Dittman. And it'll now be time for our starting lineups. Starting lineups again brought to you by Freedom Investment Management. For all your financial needs, go to freedomwealthcoach.com. For Red Bank Valley, they're going to start Braylon Wagner, the freshman. Kieran Frick. Kieran Fricko. Kieran. Kieran Fricko. Owen Klaus. Mason Klaus. And Aiden Ort. So it's Ort, Wagner, Fricko, Owen Klaus, and Mason Klaus for Red Bank Valley. Derek Smale, number 32, being introduced, sophomore. Devin Lauer, number two, a junior. Dawson Smale, number four, he is also a junior. Bryce Brinkley, number 10, he is a junior. And number 12, Gabe Simcoe. With the long hair and the headband. Should be playing in the 70s, Chris. He is also a junior, number 12 for Clarion Bobcats. Our Oil Country Crates referees, Bud Buffano, Justin Buffano, and Ryan Smith. We saw two of those guys last night. The guys are getting a lot of work this this uh, this season, Chris, this winter. Those guys are uh, all over the place doing multiple, multiple games. Girls, boys, you call it. You name it. So it's time for the Home and Specialty Realty first quarter. Home and Specialty Roofing in Oil City. Call today for an estimate, 814-676-8024. That's Home and Specialty Roofing in Oil City. And off the tip, it is Dawson Smale for Clarion. He hands it off to his brother, Derek down to Lauer. Lauer, three-pointer in the air. Perfect. And that, I think, right away, Chris, was his take on Red Bank Valley. They didn't have anybody on Devin Lauer. And there's that pressure that I talked about with Clarion. Was Red Bank going to be able to handle it? With the basketball is Mason Klaus. He'll hand it off to Owen Klaus. Owen now over to Fricko. Now Orts with the basketball. Orts back to Fricko. Fricko, three-pointer in the air. 
No good. Rebounded. Devin Lauer for Clarion. Here come the Cats. Wanting to go fast. A little too much dribbling here by Devin Lauer, but he finally gets the ball over to Dawson Smale. Dawson hands off to Derek. Derek looks inside. Pass was too hard off the backboard. Grabbing it is Braylon Wagner, the freshman for Red Bank Valley. I like that look by Derek Smale. He just got to let, land a better pass. Gabe Simcoe, Simcoe was coming open. I think he could have had a layup there, Chris. Braylon Wagner, three-pointer, no good into the hands of Devin Lauer. Now he has a couple of rebounds in the early going. Lauer across the timeline for Clarion. Hands it off to Dawson Smale. Dawson looks, hands it to Brinkley. Bryce Brinkley all the way to the lane. That's a Fran Morelli driving layup for Bryce Brinkley. And I tell you what, Chris, he is a player that can do a lot of things. Wagner the other way, no good, rebounded by Owen Klaus. He can do a lot of things for Clarence. He can pass, he can shoot. He's a very, very unselfish team player. Mason Klaus, ball was knocked out of his hands from behind by Lauer. And then Gabe Simcoe came up with that rebound. So now Lauer will set the offense for Clarion. Gives it off to Derek Smale, not a Dawson Smale. Dawson already is a junior committed to Xavier in baseball. Gives it to his brother Derek. Jumper no good. Ball is fought for and out of bounds. It should have stayed Clarion basketball, but... Yeah, I was thought I was thinking that was Clarion basketball, but uh, you know, referee Bob Bufano saw it come off a Clarion player, and that's Red Bank ball. He had a different angle than we did. Probably a better angle. Than we I would did. probably think a better, but you know, I thought it was Clarion ball. Owen Klaus with it. Owen Klaus hands it to Fricko. Fricko, Fricko, and that ball is kicked by Simco. So Clarion does a nice job here, Chris, mixing. Right now they're in a man-to-man. -man. They'll mix into a 3-2 zone, then they'll put pressure on and then stay man-to-man -man the whole time. So they're doing a nice job keeping Red Bank off balance right now. Now Klaus has the ball knocked loose. Was that Lauer again? That was Lauer. And now Clarion loses it out of bounds. As Close drove the lane, Lauer stuck his hand in there and got a piece of that ball. Very unassuming player when you look at him, Jess, but really talented one. Very, very talented. He does all the little things well. He doesn't, but he's not a raw, raw kind of guy. Three-pointer by Mesa. Uh, Owen Klaus. That's good. For, that was Mason. I was right the first time. <laughs> but we ran into that last night with the McFarland yeah. twins in North Clarion. Smell to... Brinkley now out to Dawson. Smell three-pointer in the air. Rims out. Rebound by Owen Klaus. Owen to Mason. Mason quickly ahead. Finds Fricko now into the corner for Wagner. Braylon Wagner's three. No good. Rebound into the hands of Fricko. He outbattled Dawson Smell for it. Owen Klaus. Owen Klaus hands it off to Fricko. Now back to Mason. Mason three-pointer. No good. Rebounded there by Owen. Can't get it to go, and then gets another shot, and then gets fouled. And I do believe he's going to go to the Tenesta Builder Supply free throw line to shoot a pair. And, you know, right there you see, you know, Clarion players kind of sitting back. What they should have done is gotten in position at least one or two times before the shot went up, Chris. Um, but Klaus was able to get in there and, and out-rebound him. Oh, well, Klaus's first shot from the Tenesta Builder Supply free throw line is good. He'll get a second one, trying to build this back to a tie. And that's the better supply. That's the builders.us. Second shot is also good, and we're all even up at five apiece. So right away, Clarion takes a couple threes. Devin hits one, and Bryce quickly drives the lane. But then they come back, and they miss two threes. I really think they've got to get Simcoe's hands on the basketball. Dawson Smale drives, gives it off to Simcoe. Simcoe, 15-footer, good. <laughs> huh? What do you think? I, I tell you, you got to get that ball to Gabe Simcoe. When they pack it in, then it opens up the outside lane for Clarion. Widener tries to throw it off of Dawson Smale, but Dawson Smale's able to save it. Gives it to Lauer. Lauer wants to run. Lauer run. Oh, no look pass to Gabe Simcoe. And I'm telling you what, there you just said unassuming. Devin can handle. What a great dish right there, Chris. That's a daddy's dish. You'll never have to worry about what's dishing out for dinner when you go to daddy's on Main Street in Clarion. 
I was at Daddy's today, Jess. Were you? I was. I did not make it there today. I had some chili. Larry Wiser tells me it's really good chili. He's right. It is really good chili. <laughs> also had a Reuben, and it was a delicious Reuben. They were doing a Korean, like, soup ball thing that they sold out by 1.30 each of the last two days. Holy cow. Must have been really good. With it is Wagner. Wagner back to Owen Klaus. Now to Mason Klaus. Mason Klaus has the three-pointer rim in and out. Rebounded by Brinkley for Clarion. What a strong rebound right there by Bryce Brinkley. He got up, got good position, took that. Nobody was getting that rebound from him. Lauer gives it to Brinkley. Brinkley missed a couple of games with uh, with an ankle injury. Yeah, yes. bum ankle here a couple of weeks ago. And they missed him. You know, uh, Owen Cribble did a really nice job filling in for him while he was uh, on the sideline. But, um, you know, they missed the production that, that Bryce Brinkley gives a team. Simcoe turns that ball over. So here comes Red Bank. Mason to Fricko. Fricko runs into Derek Smale. It's a turnover. Here comes Lauer. Lauer this time is going to go all the way. Can't get it to fall. Good job of rebounding there by Braylon Wagner. I thought we were going to look at another daddy's dish right there, Chris. He had Gabe Simcoe. If he gives that ball up, I think they get another layup. Corner ball to... That's Fricko again. He can't get it to fall. Rebounded by Lauer. Lauer coming back the other way. Lauer thought about the three, pulls it down, gives it to the Smale. That's Dawson. Now back to Lauer. Now Lauer's going to drive. Lauer gets contact. It's going to be on the floor. You know, and he did a nice job. Had a step. What he needs to do is draw um, Mason Klaus up, who is guarding Gabe Simcoe, and then drop it down to Gabe. Gabe dribbles and then scores. Um, Bryce Brinkley, Gabe Simcoe coming out of the game. McKinley and Owen Cribble in the game for Clarion. Also into the game for Red Bank is Matthew Cosma. Players being real patient here. They don't need to, you know, do anything. They don't need to be in a hurry. They've got, you know, the four-point lead. They just need to work the ball and get a nice open look. Here's Dawson Smale. Now to Lauer back to Dawson Smale. Derek Smell, here's Cribble. Owen Cribble, three-pointer, no good, rebounded by Owen Klaus. And that wasn't a terrible shot. They ran some clock. He got an open look. It just didn't fall for Owen Cribble. Wagner, jumper from the lane, no good. Rebounded to Owen Cribble. Gives it off to McKinley now. Dawson Smale will bring it up. Dawson played some point guard two years ago as a freshman uh, when uh, the uh, Burford... Um, Mason Burford and um, yeah, when when, when uh, Ethan, was Ethan, yeah, I'm sorry, Ethan, was Ethan correct. That was Ethan and, and Cal German was on that team. It was a district championship team. Yes, it, it was. went to the state semifinals in the COVID year. It, it in the, was in the COVID in the, year. When by the COVID year, I don't mean the year where it was stopped, but the year when there was a champions only tournament. And that ball's going to be kicked. And Dawson can do it all, you know, for Claren. He's one of those kids that isn't going to be your point guard all the time, but he can handle when he needs to. Uh, he can rebound. He can shoot. He can do all the things you need, you, you know, you, a good team player will do. And pacing Klaus just threw the ball right to Derek Smale. Derek built a little bigger than his brother Dawson. He's the younger brother, but now here's a steal. That was... Actually, Mason Klaus gave it to Owen. Back to Mason. Layup. Good. I tell you what, and that's what Red Bank wants to do. They want to get out and run. They want to get some steals and get running up the floor. They feel that they can beat Clarion up the floor that way. Ten seconds left in the quarter, Chris. Yeah, folks, don't pay any attention to the clock on the scoreboard. It's just meant to give you an idea. Now we're going to get a foul here with 2.3 to play. So 2.3 seconds. That foul is on Mason Klaus's first, and now Simcoe's going to check back in, and McKinley's going to check out. 2.3 seconds. Maybe look to a lob to Simcoe from the inbounds. Instead, it's Cribble in the corner with a three. No good. 
And the quarter comes to an end with Clarion leading 9-7. to seven. After one here at Clarion High School, you're watching High School Basketball on the YDL Sports Network, d 9 sportscom powered by the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg. With locations in Chippenville and Tanesta, Tanesta Builder Supply is a full-service home improvement center specializing in everything you need to build or remodel your home. From power tools and accessories to paint and sundries, and general hardware merchandise, Tanesta Builders has everything you need to get your project done quickly. Find out more at tanestabuilders.us and like them on Facebook. Golfing at one of the prettiest golf courses around is what you get when you play around at Hunter Station Golf Club just outside of Tanesta. Located in the Allegheny Mountains with a spectacular view of the Allegheny River, Hunter Station offers something for everyone. The rolling hills of the front nine, coupled with a back nine situated along the banks of the Allegheny River, create some of the best views in all of northwestern PA. And when you're done with your round, enjoy a delicious meal or a cold drink in our restaurant and bar. Looking for a place to stay? Hunter Station has you covered there too with play and stay packages. Find out more at HunterStation.com. Back here at Clarion High School, it'll be this Hunter Station Golf Club's second quarter on the Pizza Hut possession arrow. It is Red Bank Valley basketball. You know what would make a great Valentine's gift for that golfer in your life? A full season pass to Hunter Station. Hunter Golf Station. Club. HunterStation.com for more information. Beautiful, beautiful back nine there. There's a layup. Speaking of beautiful, that's Mason. Um, Owen Klaus. Owen with a nice drive baseline and a reverse layup. Excellent, excellent play. Nice drive. Nice things up at nine. Dawson Smale looks things over. Dawson turns. Dawson gives it back to Derek Smale. Derek Smale to Lauer. Lauer, long three-pointer. Good. I tell you what, they keep working the ball like that. Keep working the ball. If Devin's open, he's going to let it rip. He's got two threes in the game so far. Nice student sections on hand for both of these schools today, Jess. They are. They're getting loud, actually. Three-pointer there by Cosma. No good. Rebounded by Dawson Smith. Gives it off to Derek Lauer. See some members of the Red Bank Valley girls basketball team over there. Alyssa Bowser, Olivia Hoffman, uh, also, Kaylin Rierick, I see here's another three by da, uh, Devin Lauer. It's no good. Rebounded by Fricko. I'm going to guess there's a few more over there that I just don't recognize off this <laughs> right away. I'm, I, you know, it's tough for me to look, Chris, because I got my yeah. face right in the camera here. So. <laughs> now we're going to get a timeout called by Red Bank Valley. We'll take it with them. 6.29 to play here in quarter number one. You're, or two, you're watching High School Basketball on the YDL Sports Network, powered by the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg. What's the recipe for surprising the kids, treating yourself, and ditching dish? What's the recipe? What's the recipe for surprising the kids, treating yourself, and ditching dish duty? You're looking at it. Order your Pizza Hut faves like original pan, original stuffed crust, and more at PizzaHut.com. No one out pizzas the hut. Back here at Red Bank Valley after that Luton's Plumbing Heating and Air Conditioning timeout. Luton's Plumbing Heating and Air Conditioning will get you going again if any of those systems take a timeout. Luton'sPlumbing.com, just down the River Hill from the stadium here in Clarion. We're just a block or so away from Clarion High School. It is. It's just down the road right now, about a block. Here's Owen Klaus. Owen to Fricko. Back out to Braylon Wagner. Saw what Braylon Wagner could do when he took over as the quarterback at Red Bank this year. Had a fantastic four-game stretch there at the end of the season for the Bulldogs. Yes, he really did as a uh, freshman. Owen oh, uh, Klaus, and then the rebound there. That is his older brother, Cam, with the offensive rebound. Puts it back. And that was a nice job. He just relentlessly on the boards, got the tip, put it in. And uh, Clinton is going to have to have an answer for him on the rebounds. And Cosma give them nice size inside right now. Absolutely. Now he's matched up with Gabe Simcoe. Brinkley with the basketball. Brinkley to Lauer. Lauer thought about the three. Doesn't take it. Now hands it off to Smale. Great pass from one Smale to the other. And we're going to get an offensive foul on Derek Smale. You know, it, it's funny. I, I agree with that call, Chris. I do agree that that was offensive. Half of that is because Derek's a little bit bigger than that guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? There was contact, but Derek is just such a strong player. It, it just put the kid down on his backside. 
But I do believe that that was the right call. It was offensive all the way. So four, 525 to go here. Klaus now with it. That's Mason to Owen. Now a steal by Clarion. Here's Lauer. Lauer's going to be fouled. He's going to score. He's going to get one. He's going to have a chance here in old school. Three the old play. school three-pointer. And I tell you what, Chris, looking there, Derek, or uh, not Derek, Dawson Smale really created that with his incredible defense down here. He, he doubled him, got the tip. Devin took it coast to coast. Now that's a big foul on Red Bank because that's two now on Owen Klaus. That's two on Klaus, and now he's going to have to have a have a seat for a little bit. So Lauer to try to complete the old school three at the Tennessee Butters play free throw line. Doesn't go. Very uncharacteristic for Devin. He's usually a very good three-point um, foul line shooter, foul you know, free throw shooter. Now Mason Klaus to Fricko. Fricko looks things over. Fricko to Cam Wagner. Lots of brother combinations out there. There are lots of brothers for both teams. Mason Klaus, three-pointer, no good. Rebounded by Orts. Orts to Braylon Wagner. Braylon Wagner's going to get fouled. Got the Wagners, the Klauses, the Smales. A lot of brothers on the uh, on the court right now. They're going to get that for Dawson. They're going to get that on Dawson Smale, his first team's third. There's Lauer. There's those oh. active hands from Lauer. Wow. He just, unassuming, but really, really good. Very good. You know what, Chris? He's a very good golfer as well. Dawson Smale with it. Dawson Smale to Gabe Simcoe. Simcoe back to Dawson Smale. Dawson Smale finds Derek Smale. Now Brinkley. Brinkley, three-pointer in the air. No good. Rebounded by Dawson Smale. Dawson Smale's putback is there. And there you go. Dawson comes down, gets a steal. Devin comes down, makes a layup. Then he gets a rebound and puts it in. He can do it all for Clarion Bobcats. Fricko hands it off to Braylon Wagner. Braylon Wagner gives it to Mason Klaus. Now back to Fricko. Fricko gives it off to Mason Klaus. Mason Klaus has a little bit of room to operate, then hands it to Braylon Wagner. Good job by Derek Smale picking him up. Now back to Mason Klaus. Now back to Braylon Wagner. Little two-man game being played. Now he gives it off to Fricko. Fricko looks to set the offense for Red Bank. Fricko gives it to Braylon Wagner. They're having trouble finding a place to shoot. Now Braylon Wagner loses it out of bounds. Now, you know what Clarion is doing, Chris? They're, you know, anytime that they, they Red Bank puts a ball on the floor, they're doubling it right away. What Red Bank has to do is find that open man as soon as Clarion doubles. So Cribble will check in and Dawson Smell will check out. Clarion with the five-point lead, 16 to 11. Red Bank in a 2-3, it looks like. Maybe a 3-2 or a 2-2-1. That looks like a 3-2 to me right now, but Clarion's doing a smart thing. Make them come out of it. Look at look at Devin Lowry. He's at half court. Sort of turns into a 1-3-1 then. And now here's a three-pointer by Brinkley. No good. Oh, and had a hand on it. Then Fricko is able to pick it off the ground for Red Bank and bring it across the timeline. With three minutes to play here in the Hunter Station Golf Club second quarter. I really think that Coach Fox was wanting to take a little bit more time and get a better shot. Oh, what a move wow. by Mason Klaus. That was smooth. Left-hand layup. That was nice. You got to spread Red Bank out here. That's what Devin Lauer is telling his guys. He said, you know, come out with me. Come out with me. Brinkley to Simka, back to Lauer. Lauer thought about the three and said gets it to Brinkley for a wide open three. This time he buries it. There he goes. There he goes. And that's what Bryce Brinkley can do. I know he missed a couple, but he is not going to shy away from that shot. He's open, Chris. Good ball movement there by Clarion. Here's Fricko. Fricko to Cam Wagner, back to Fricko. Fricko dribbling in on Simko. He's going to take it all the way. Nice move there by Karen Fricko. Boy, I'd like to see Gabe get a little bit more uh, aggressive on that. He doesn't have any fouls. He could really uh, alter that shot, but he didn't want to foul him. Brinkley to Lauer. Now back to Brinkley. Brinkley goes to Smale. Now inside to Simco. Oh, what a kick out to Lauer. No good. Rebound by or two hands off quickly to Braylon Wagner. Boy, was that a nice pass. I thought Devin was going to drop that one, but, you know, he just didn't, didn't get it to fall. 
Here's Braylon White. Oh, what a pass by Braylon Wagner to me to Mason Klaus. Was that a daddy's dish, Chris? Oh, that would be a daddy's <laughs> dish from Braylon Wagner. That was a very, very nicely done play right there for the Red Bank Valley Bulldogs. You never have to worry about what you're dishing out for dinner when you go to Daddy's on Main Street in Clarion. Here's Brinkley with it. Brinkley to Lauer. Lauer looks things over back to Brinkley. Another wide open three for Brinkley. Buries it again. From the same exact spot. You know, Red Bank Valley's going to have to get a hand up, get out there, and have an answer for Bryce Brinkley. He's hit two threes in a row. Bricko across the timeline. Bricko hands it off to Mason Klaus. Mason Klaus spinning in the lane, has the ball knocked loose. It comes right to Fricko. Fricko has it knocked loose. Red Bank fans wanted a foul. They're not getting it. Now, it looked like there was some contact down in there, Chris, but. Uh, yeah, they didn't get the foul called. They kind of let them play for the most part tonight. Yes. Dribble now out to Brinkley, not a Lauer. 29 seconds to play here in the first half. Dribble with it. Clarion hopes to hold for the last shot you'd imagine. Lauer, Lauer gets it to Brinkley. Brinkley to Cribble. Dribble picked up by Orts, now to Lauer with 12. Down to 10, it's in the hands of Brinkley with eight. Brinkley to Simcoe, swings at the Cribble, to Lauer with three, back to Cribble from the top of the key. Three, rims in and out, Simcoe's the board, he can't get it to fall. Boy, was that a great job by Gabe Simcoe and almost got that to fall. That was the old volleyball tip that we talked about. So at the end of a half, it's an exciting one here in Clarion, Pennsylvania. Clarion leads visiting Red Bank 22 17. We'll be back after these messages. You're watching High School Basketball on the YDL Sports Network, D9 and 10 Sports.com, powered by the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg. Hi, Chris Rosetti here from D9 and 10 Sports.com. I wanted to take a second to tell you about one of the best restaurants in all of Western Pennsylvania, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, PA. With indoor and outdoor dining, you can enjoy prime rib all weekend long, or perhaps it is their full wings served on Thursday wing nights that you're after. From celebrating a special occasion to hanging out with family and friends, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg is the place to be. As they like to say, you come for the food and you stay for the view. Reserve your table today at AlleghenyGrill.com. Need plumbing, heating, or air conditioning services in Western PA? Then call Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning in Clarion today at 814-226-8695. At Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning, we believe that a service-oriented business like ours should give you quality care and a quick response time. That's why we stand on our promise, offering you reliable 24-hour service that gets your job done right when you need it. We can also be found on the web at lutonsplumbing.com. Again, that number is 814-226-8695. Fran Morelli Sales and Service is a family-owned and operated used car dealership and auto repair facility that has been serving Brockway, Pennsylvania since 1976. At Fran Morelli Sales and Service, we stock a wide variety of used cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs. You never have to worry about buying a vehicle from us with each of our vehicles in our inventory going through a rigorous inspection process to make sure that your vehicle is in the best condition. Call our team of experts today at 814 265 one three three zero and check us out at franmorelli.com what's the recipe for surprising the kids treating yourself and ditching dish duty you're looking at it order your pizza hut faves like original pan original stuffed crust and more at pizzahut.com no one out pizzas the hut are you hungry? Of course you're hungry. And Daddy's on Main Street in Clarion is ready to tackle that hunger for you. Serving amazing food since 2008, Daddy's has been Clarion's go-to stop whenever hunger strikes. Whether it's a good old-fashioned hot dog or hamburger, a salad, or something from their rotating chef's menu. Yes, I said rotating chef's menu. Daddy has you covered. You can order ahead by calling 814-223-4687 or come on in and dine in. Have a big event you are catering? Daddy's can do that too. Like Daddy's on Facebook at Daddy's Clarion and stop in today. You won't be disappointed. Back here where they just had the duck toss, Jess. <laughs> Chuck-a-duck is what they call it. Chuck-a-duck. Yep. Chuck-a-duck. Closest to the pond wins. Nobody got it in the pond. No, what did we have the other night? There were a couple of people, I think, that got it in the pond. I wasn't here the other night. Yeah, so I can see how they, they had to split it. There were two people that got it in. So it's time for our Potter County Family Campground halftime show. I wonder if you see any docs at the Potter County Family Campground. I'll have to ask uh, 
Mark Chambers about that. See if they got any ducks hanging around. I bet you would. There. <laughs> At the Potter County Family Campground, your outdoor adventure starts here with family and friends. They can accommodate your camping, all your camping needs, whether you camp in a tent, RV, or one of their camping cabins. Just what's your preferred method of camping? I tell you what, I have my own camp, but I'll tell you, I love to be out in a tent. I really do. There's something um, nice, but I will tell you, my brother-in-law, who was a U.S. Marine, said he'll never sleep in a tent or on the ground. He's got to have at least some type of cot and a mattress or something like that. But I prefer a tent. I kind of need I kind of need to have the camping cabin. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I like the camping cabin. I do pretty good in the camping cabin. Anyhow, they got it all at the Potter County Campground. <laughs> They're in the heart of Potter County, which is God's country. Check them out online at pottercountycamping.com. It's time for our Rehab Center Statistics with eight locations to serve you, including in Clarion, Brookville, and Catanning. Check them out online at therehabcenter.com. That's center, old English spelling, R-E.com. Hey, those guys at the Rehab Center, they want to let you know Sometimes going to the chiropractor isn't about because your back's hurting. Sometimes it's about preventative medicine. Absolutely. And, it is. Uh, you know, one of those, uh, you know, you get there, they can do a lot of things that, that you might not think about. Everything from like, you know, you know, personal experiences and type of things, you know, it just, it keeps you, it, it keeps certain body systems aligned and everything else. And really helps out. So. Alignment is key, Chris. You know, they can stretch you out and keep muscles, um, you know, stretched, warm, ready to go. So you don't tense up, so you don't get hurt. So if you're interested in finding out more, the great docs at the rehab center, they'd be happy to answer any questions you might have about how it even makes your athlete more flexible and better and what they can do for your athlete. Give them a call today or check them out online at therehabcenters.com. Again, that's the old English spelling of centers. R-E-S.com. Anyhow, taking a look at the rehab center statistics for Clary and Bryce Binkley and Devin Lauer, both of the pair of three-pointers, and both have scored eight points. Gabe Simcoe has four. Dawson Smale has two. For Red Bank Valley, Mason Klaus with nine points. Brother Owen has four. Wagner and Fricko with two each. Those are your rehab center Statistics. We'll be back after these messages. You're watching High School Basketball on the YDL Sports Network, D9 and 10, sports.com, powered by the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg. Are you looking for a great place to relax and enjoy the fresh mountain air of the Susquehannock State Forest in the Allegheny Mountains? Then the Potter County Campground is the place for you. Your outdoor adventure starts at the Potter County Campground with family and friends. The Potter County Campground can accommodate all your camping needs. Whether you camp in a tent, RV, or one of their camping cabins, they have a camping experience for you. Open year-round, the 44-acre Potter County Campground is located in the heart of Potter County, God's country. Check them out online at pottercountycamping.com. Golfing at one of the prettiest golf courses around is what you get when you play around at Hunter Station Golf Club just outside of Tanesta. Located in the Allegheny Mountains with a spectacular view of the Allegheny River, Hunter Station offers something for everyone. The rolling hills of the front nine coupled with a back nine situated along the banks of the Allegheny River create some of the best views in all of northwestern PA. And when you're done with your round, enjoy a delicious meal or a cold drink in our restaurant and bar. Looking for a place to stay? Hunter Station has you covered there too with play and stay packages. Are you looking for a great place to relax and enjoy the fresh mountain air of the Susquehannock State Forest in the Allegheny Mountains? Then the Potter County Campground is the place for you. Your outdoor adventure starts at the Potter County Campground with family and friends. The Potter County Campground can accommodate all your camping needs. Whether you camp in a tent, RV, or one of their camping cabins, they have a camping experience for you. Open year-round, the 44-acre Potter County Campground is located in the heart of Potter County, God's country. Check them out online at pottercountycamping.com. Back here in the Potter County Camping Halftime Show, where it is Clarion leading visiting Red Bank Valley, 22-17 at the half. Just, we were just talking about the crowd on hand tonight. It's not packed here, but it's uh, it's a nice crowd, and it's got a little bit of a playoff atmosphere, especially with the two student sections. You've got Clarion's underneath the basket, and 
you know, I'm glad to see Clarion's student section finally getting underneath the basket here. I never could quite understand why it wasn't there. That's the perfect place for a student section. Especially in the second half. You know, now when Midbank goes to the line, the Clarion student section is going to be right behind them. I know? always thought they messed up at Brookville because the side that their students sit on is the side that they shoot at in the second half. Right. Yeah, it should go opposite, definitely. Uh, but Red Bank also with a really nice student section on hand here. About yeah. three rows worth uh, as well. And, uh, you know, also going to say, and I know some of it was done because of the lack of officials, but the KSAC finally not playing boys and girls on the same night has been it's done wonders for the crowds. You and, know what? And it really has, Chris. And that, that's something that, that has been kind of a, a problem for years, and they just couldn't figure it out, couldn't figure it out. You know what? Why would you play them on the same night? It, it's it's incredible the crowd you get the the school spirit that you get kids can come and support both teams the boys can go support the girls and that's and what girls you're saying the, the, the girls from both red bank and clarion they're they're players from both those teams which meet tomorrow night down at red bank right you know you see them here and uh you see parents from uh i see some parents in the crowd from girls team parents here to support the boys team as well and uh you know, it, it's just, it's a... It's a better atmosphere. It's a much better it, atmosphere. You said it earlier. It's a much, much better atmosphere this way. And I really, I'm glad they have finally, you know, come out and, um, you know, altered the schedule that way. Yeah. And, uh, you know, growing up in the WPIL, that was always the way it was. Mm -hmm. It was girls on Monday and Thursday, boys on Tuesday and Tuesday, Friday, Friday. And wrestling was always on uh, the, uh, on Wednesday. Um, here they try to alternate so that the girls do get a chance to play on Friday, which I think is a great thing. I think it really is, Chris. And uh, this week was a Tuesday, Friday girls, Wednesday or Tuesday, Tuesday, Thursday boys, boys Wednesday, Friday girls situation. Next week it reverses. And now Clarion, who got the ball on the pizza possession arrow with a sloppy turnover to start the first half. Yeah, second that, half. that did not look good, Chris. I didn't know what was going on there. It did not look good. Red Bank's going to have a, a chance to come out and get the first points in the second half. Third quarter brought to you by Tucked In Farms. Tucked In Farms, a modern farm event. But venue in the heart of Cook Forest, PA. TuckedInFarm.com. That's tucked, then a D, and then in farm.com. Owen Klaus back on the floor with those two fouls. Misses the layup. Rebounded by Derek Smale. It's Derek Smale, Bryce Brinkley, Dawson Smale, Gabe Simcoe, and Devin Lauer for Clarion. And here is Derek Smale laying up no good. Rebounded by Braylon Wagner. He's out there with Fricko, both Klauses, Owen and Mason, and Aiden Ord. So the starting five for both teams on the court. The Cook Freedom Investment Management lineups. Well, I tell you what, you know, Red Bank had a lot of success, Chris, driving the baseline against this Clarion team. And there, even though Klaus missed that layup, he was very successful. He got to the rim, and he needs to continue that here to have success in the second half. It's Klaus with it. That's Mason to Fricko. And then the deflection by Dawson Smale out of bounds. I want to mention that tonight's game also being brought to you by the Warren County Visitors Bureau. Warren County Visitors Bureau. All kinds of things to do when you go to Warren County. WCVB.net backslash events. And they've got a big one coming up here at the beginning of February. Here's a block shot by Simcoe out of bounds. I tell you what, Gabe has to make his presence felt. And he just did on that play defensively. He's got to be big for Clarion if they want to get the ball in the paint. That is Red Bank. So at Chapman State Park, February 3rd into 4th in Warren County, it is Winterfest. Ice fishing, sled dog racing. Well, if they have snow. If they have <laughs> snow. <laughs> now here's a ball that's deflected by Brinkley. Good job, but first by Fricko to get back, but he wasn't able to control it. He knew if he caught it, he was going to get called for the walk. <laughs> so he tried to throw it while sliding, and it just didn't quite work out it well. It did not quite work out. But I, there again, Bryce Brinkley doing the little things to help his team. Uh, stepped it up on defense right there and gets the turnover. And now Fricko with the steal of the Lauer pass. He's going to take it all the way. And then Devin Lauer, not only does he block it, he knocks the rebound off of Fricko out of bounds. And look at him. He didn't do anything. He did. He's not a raw, raw type of guy. Like you said in the first half, Chris, very unassuming, but very, very good player. Here's Dawson Smale. Gives it to Simcoe. Little short jumper. He airballed it. But rebounded by Devin Lauer. Now to Brinkley. Brinkley, all the way. Brinkley's going to get fouled, and he is going to go to the Hennessy Butter Supply free throw line to shoot a pair. Is that foul on Ords, Chris? It yeah. is. 
what's the foul situation look like for Red Bank? Klaus with um, the two, I think. I, I, I don't have it, Jess, but I think you're right. I think it's the only one. I think, I, I think he's the only one that has two. Everybody else is. Uh, that would be Owen Klaus. As Cam Wagner checks back in and Mason Klaus takes the seat. As Brinkley will get another one trying to build upon this six-point lead at the Tennessee Builder Supply Free Throw Line. Perfect. I wonder if, you know, getting Cam Wagner in, I wonder if Coach Marshall is going to look for a more inside presence, try to use Cam down low, get maybe Gabe Simcoe into foul trouble. There's Braylon Wagner. Braylon through the wickets of Fricko, but he's able to recover and now hands it off to Cam Wagner. Cam to his brother Braylon. Braylon makes a move, tries to go inside to Fricko and or, 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 excuse me, and Aiden Orr to the power move up and in. And I tell you what, that's what they're gonna have to do is slash, drive the paint. When when Clarence steps up, they get the defense, they gotta dish it down low. Orts made them pay that time. Here's Lauer. Lauer hands it off to Dawson Smell. Dawson Smell inside to Simcoe. Simcoe got Wagner in the air, can't get it to fall. And then he's going to get called for the foul. Yeah, he reached around. That's a, you know, he was trying to get the hell ball, but just got a little too much arm in the process. Got a little bit too much arm. And I tell you what, Gabe, Gabe had a nice fake to get Wagner up in the air. But to be honest, I would love to see him just take that up strong. Maybe Wagner hits him. Maybe he gets an in one, something like that. But he, he got him up in the air, got a nice fake. But I want to see him power that thing up. Mason Klaus back in the game as Fricko takes a seat for Red Bank Valley. Three minutes into this tucked in farms third quarter. Clarion still by five, 24-19. Owen Klaus dribbles around a bunch, hands it off to his brother Mason. Mason goes the other way with it. Now Mason with a great move. Wow, did he clear some space with that jump stop. Holy smokes. Did I just say holy smokes? Yeah, that was a... <laughs> I'm left speechless. Now the other end, Brinkley tries to wrap around. No good. Oh, what? You could drive a lane like uh, Bryce Brinkley does did with a great new vehicle from Framorelli Sales and Service in Brockway. Framorelli.com. That was an excellent drive. He just needed to finish. Just didn't get a call. So now Red Bank with a chance to tie. Oh, and Klaus. No good. Rebounded Cam Wagner. Then somehow or other gets taken away. Derek Smale ends up with it. Derek Smell is a strong, strong player, and somehow he ended up with that basketball. Here's Dawson Smell. He's going to drive the lane, throws a wild shot up. No good. Rebound battle for one by Cam Wagner. And Speaking I think, of strength, Cam Wagner's got a lot of that. Oh, he does. But I tell you what, Coach Fox, I'm watching, it, you know, he's kind of looking at Dawson saying, you know, that's not a very good possession, not a very good shot. And off to Mason Klaus. Mason inside. Mason, another great move. No good. Aiden Orch to rebound. Orch is going to get fouled. And he's going to get two shots from the Tenesta Builder Supply free throw line. Derek Smale, I believe. Yes, Derek Smale. Is that his second, I wonder, Chris? Let's see. Now Clarion wants time out. No, that's out. his third. Clarion wants time out. They're going to take it here with 3.31 to go. We'll be back after these messages. Are you looking for a great place to relax and enjoy the fresh mountain air of the Susquehannock State? We're not, Jess. <laughs> Did we not go away? It was only a 30 second time out there. Chris. Surprising the kids, treating yourself and ditching dish duty? You're looking at it. Order your Pizza Hut faves like original pan, original stuffed crust, and more at PizzaHut.com. No one out pizzas the hut. It's a little technical glitch getting the commercial break, but uh, that's okay. Got it in. You know what? I think you know, looking at the timeout right there, you know, Coach Fox was really trying to settle his guys down. Work the ball, work the ball. Don't come down and try these acrobatic shots. Work the ball for a good shot. Look at Gabe Simcoe. It'll open up Devin Lauer. Orts misses the free throw. He'll get a second one for the Nassau Builders Supply free throw line. That one's good. And now Orts will check out as. Cam Wagner checks back in. Two-point game, 24-22. 
Is that Matthew Kozma in there too? Number it 44? is. That is who checked in. Okay. It was Matthew Kozma that checked in. We're going I with saw some the size. big guy. Uh, yes. Both the big guys are in now. Wagner and Kozma. Kozma. Here's Brinkley. Brinkley hands it to Simcoe. Gets it to Smale. Now to McKinley. And then stealing the pass. This Cam Wagner. He goes coast to coast. We're tied at 24. And there you just can't turn that ball over like that. Claren was being patient. They were working the ball around, and they come up with a turnover. Red Bank has this game at its speed, though. Every time Claren's gotten into a half-court game this year, they've struggled. They have. You know, and that's why I'm surprised that, that Coach Fox hasn't come out and tried to press them at all. Lauer hands it off to Dawson Smale. Dawson Smale to McKinley. Now here's Brinkley with a great little floating jumper off the glass. And I tell you what, Claren really needed that. They'd been struggling, um, you know, and Bryce Brinkley gets them on the board. Owen Klaus over to Fricko. Back to Owen Klaus. Now to Fricko. Fricko looks things over, gets it to Klaus. Owen oh, all the way through. Oh, Simcoe said, get that out of my kitchen. <laughs> now Dawson Smale running the other way against Wagner. His shot, no good. Rebound, McKinley had it, lost it. Now it's into the hands of Owen Cloud. I tell you what, you know, I know Dawson wanted to take that and finish Braylon that. Braylon Wagner layup, good. And I know Dawson wanted to finish, but I think he should have pulled that ball out, swing it around a little bit, maybe get Devin Lauer with a three. He was open. Raylan Wagner's first basket of the game ties us up at 26 with a minute 37 to go in the third quarter. And you can tell momentum is definitely on the side of the Red Bank Valley Bulldogs. Here's Simcoe. Smale with it. That's Dawson. Dawson looks it back. McKinley loses it off his foot. That's two straight turnovers for Logan McKinley. And I don't know, you know, what kind of a pass that was from Dawson. Looked like he threw it right at his feet. That'd be tough. Yeah, that, that turnover really was Dawson's. Game. You're right, Jess. <laughs> Apologize to Logan. Here's Fricko. Fricko has it knocked away by Lauer, but gets it back. Lauer's quick hands again, so in there. Very, very active, Chris. Wagner into Wagner. There's Cam, can't get it to fall. Simcoe goes up and gets it. Lauer running, it's a two-on-one with McKinley. McKinley is gonna get hammered from behind. He's gonna shoot two with 52.2 to play. And there Clarion is. They get a rebound. They push it. Lauer, excellent, excellent pass to get it up to McKinley. McKinley gets fouled. He's going to the line. So Logan McKinley to the Tennessee Better Supply free throw line. After I tried to make him into LeBron James, take a pass in his, uh, in his, in his feet. <laughs> blame him for not catching it. He misses that. It's no good. Dawson Smale checks out as Owen Cribble checks back in. Claren not going real deep right now, though, Jess. Only seven so far. No, they've got some good young players, too, um, you know, that, that could really handle the ball well for them. Missed the second one, too, and rebound by, Bry by Braylon Wagner. Braylon Wagner will bring it across. Chance for Red Bank to take the lead. Good defense right now by Owen Cribble. Here's Mason Klaus with it, picked up by Lauer. Then McKinley did a good job of knocking it loose, getting it back. Now it's close to the back, and now we've got a situation. We've got a clarion player out of bounds in touching the basketball. That was Logan McKinley. Logan McKinley. It'll be Red Bank ball with 27.6 to play. And that's what Logan McKinley brings you. He's that type of player that's going to get on the floor, get after that ball, except for his foot was out of bounds when he did it. Cosmo to trigger for Red Bank. Gets it into Fricko. Fricko looks things over. Fricko, nice pass to Klaus. He lays it up and in. Mason. And Red Bank has the Red lead. Bank the lead. That might be the first lead for the Bulldogs. I was just Lauer the say other that. way to answer. In and out, no good. Simcoe tips the rebound, but Braylon Wagner has it. And then Simcoe knocks it loose. There's 5.5 to play here. Momentum definitely on the side of the Red Bank Valley Bulldogs here. Claren's going to stay up. you got to pressure him here. Can't give him a free shot. They get it into the hands of Widener with one. Widener turnaround jumper, no good. And the quarter comes to an end, but Red Bank Valley is taking the lead on Clarion. 28-26. You're watching High School Basketball on the YDL Sports Network, D9and10sports.com.
Hi, Chris Rossetti here from D9and10sports.com. I wanted to take a second to tell you about one of the best restaurants in all of Western Pennsylvania, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, PA. With indoor and outdoor dining, you can enjoy prime... Back here, as we head to the fourth quarter, Jess, we've got a good one going on. We have a great one. I tell you what, Clarion was kind of struggling in that third quarter to try to find its identity. They had some... some uncharacteristic turnovers uh you know red bank wanted to get out and run and they did and they took the lead they're being very very aggressive i said it earlier i really think the momentum in the third quarter had shifted to the red bank valley bulldogs and they were able to take the lead in that third quarter so as we go to the fourth quarter it'll be red bank valley basketball off the pizza hut possession arrow nobody out pizza the hot pizza hut.com Chris, I tell you what, I really think, you know, Coach Floss, if he needs to, to get some momentum back, he may go to the press and really put some pressure on Red Bank. They weren't really able to handle it in the first quarter when he did it. Fricko gets trapped, and we're going to get a timeout. Full timeout, Chris. Let's see if we can take this one with them, Jess. Are you hungry? Of course you're hungry. And Daddy's on Main Street in Clarion is ready to tackle that hunger for you. Serving amazing food since 2008, Daddy's has been Clarion's go-to stop whenever hunger strikes. Whether it's a good old-fashioned hot dog or hamburger, a salad, or something from their rotating chef's menu. Yes, I said rotating chef's menu. Daddy has you covered. You can order ahead by calling 814-223-4687 or come on in and dine in. Have a big event you are catering? Daddy's can do that too. Like Daddy's on Facebook at Daddy's Clarion and stop in today. You won't be disappointed. With locations in Shippenville and Tynesta, Tynesta Builder Supply is a full-service home improvement center specializing in everything you need to build or remodel your home. From power tools and accessories to paint and sundries, and general hardware merchandise, Tynesta Builders has everything you need to get your project done quickly. Find out more at tynestabuilders.us and like them on Facebook. Back here after that Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning timeout, it'll be Red Bank Valley basketball up to 22 seconds into quarter number four. Klaus into Klaus. And then Excellent defense by Gabe Simcoe. Bounce by Gabe Simcoe. So Klaus will trigger again. That's Owen. Gets it to Mason. Mason finishes on the other end. What a great inbounds play right there by Coach Marshall. Red Bank Valley ran that play to perfection with Klaus scoring at the end. Lauer gives the ball off to Snail. Snail to Lauer. Lauer, three-pointer in the air. It a tough ball. goes down. And that was big for Clarion, getting some a little bit of that momentum back. Down only one right now. Red Bank has a ball. Who hit the shot? Rico. Rico. Absolutely. Nothing but the bottom of the net. It was a triple for Freco. Now, what Clarion doesn't want to do here, Chris, they don't want to get into a, a shooting, you know, three for three for three for three. They don't want to do that. Look for Gabe Simcoe inside. Snail's going to get it after that loose ball situation. Gets it to Derek. Derek thought about the three. Drives, gives it to Dawson. Dawson lays it up and in. What a very, very nice pass. Derek taking the baseline. Triple teamed at that point, gets the pass to his brother. So now Owen Klaus gets it over to Braylon Wagner. Braylon looks things over. Braylon to Mason. Mason Klaus gives it back to Orts. Orts gives it to Fricko. Fricko to Orts. Back to Mason Klaus. Mason Klaus looks it over, gives it to Owen. Red Bank in no hurry. This is the speed they want to play at. This is the speed they want to play at. That's what I was saying. You know, you know Clarence going to have to come up, Chris, and put a little bit more pressure on them. It's Wagner. Wagner gives it to Orts. Just something we're not talking about. This is a Red Bank team that under Manny Marshall been known to go fast, shoot a lot of threes. They've really been, I mean, talk about a coach adjusting to his personnel. Absolutely. You know, you look at it, you got, you know you have the Klaus brothers. There goes Wagner. 
Gives it to Orts. Now to Mason Klaus, three-pointer in the air. No good. But Clarion was weak on the rebound. It was rebounded by Orts. Now Mason Klaus gets it. Now Wagner. They kind of like put Clarion to sleep there, and they just didn't hustle enough on that rebound. They didn't. They had two or three guys in the area. They just did not come up with that rebound. Red Bank right now can take a lot more time off that clock if they're patient. Fricko with it. Fricko. Fricko hands it to Klaus. Now to Mace. Uh, to Owen. Now it's Fricko. Fricko three in the corner. Oh, he buried another one. He's feeling it, Chris. He's feeling it. He's got the last two threes for the Red Bank Valley Bulldogs. And the Bulldogs lead by five with four and a half to play. Smear with the three to answer. No good. Rebounded by Wagner. I'm telling you. And now it's a kick out of bounds. If I'm Scott Fox, I call time. I'm calling time And that's time exactly out. what he's doing. Absolutely. And this is exactly what I said, Chris. We don't want to get in. Clarion, I mean, does not want to get into that three-point shooting contest. They really don't. So there's going to be a timeout called. It's going to be a 30. We're going to take it with them. Hi, Chris Rossetti here from d 9 sportscom I wanted to take a second to tell you about one of the best restaurants in all of Western Pennsylvania, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, PA. With indoor and outdoor dining, you can enjoy prime rib all weekend long, or perhaps it is their full wings served on Thursday wing nights that you're after. From celebrating a special occasion to hanging out with family and friends, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg is the place to be. As they like to say, you come for the food and you stay for the view. Reserve your table today at AlleghenyGrill.com. Back here at... Clarion High School, where Red Bank Valley, on the strength of a couple of Fricko three-pointers, has a 36-31 lead over the homestanding Bobcats with 4.17 to play and the basketball. I tell you what, it's exactly now. Red Bank's caught the ball. They're going to take some more time off and look at Clarion in half-court trap right away. Owen Klaus with it. Fricko, Fricko. To Klaus, not Owen Klaus. And then Wauer caused that steal. Now Clarion wants to run, and the pass was too far. Was that Simcoe or it was, Dribble? No, was that was Simcoe's Simcoe. pass. It was just a little bit too far. I, I like the idea of pass. It was just a little they bit too strong. They had two men breaking. Now here's Wagner. He had Orts. And now they get it to Orts. And now Orts is going to get fouled, and he's going to go to the Tenesta Miller Supply free throw line to shoot a pair. I tell you what, you know, Clarence coming up and they're doubling and they're trapping. What we always said when I coached was you have to pick up the next closest man. You leave the man furthest from the ball open, Chris. And right now, Clarence is just not doing that, coming off the trap. Fouls on Brinkley. Orts hits the free throw. They've got to be active. The guys away from the trap have to be active. They've got to pick up the two closest guys. He hits them both, and now it's a seven-point lead for Red Bank Valley. And with 331, Chris, you don't need to come down and start shooting threes. Keep working the ball. Dribble to Derek Snell, now to Brinkley. Inside to Simcoe. Simcoe, great pass to Cribble, who scores. That's exactly what you need to do. Now you need to come up with a stop defensively. Great job right there, Owen Cribble. 38-33. Nice pass from Gabe Simcoe. Wagner, Wagner to Mason. Mason to Owen. Those are the Klaus brothers. There's Mason with it again. Now here's Mason. Great pass. And then a job by Fricko so they can kill more time here. Again, that's their game. They don't mind doing that right no. now. And, and as long as they, they hold on to that basketball, they keep it out of the reach of that, that trap. Clarion is going to be in trouble. They look, honestly, right now what they're doing looks very Ridgeway-like. I was just thinking that, Chris. That's so funny. Now we got to follow I mean, I mean, I mean, empty, open looks and then turning and throwing it back out. It's like they learned a lesson from their championship game against Ridgeway a year ago. My goodness. Well, and, and you take away anything from that loss you, you look at ridgeway who's got the better basketball players definitely red bank valley there's no doubt but who was i think more disciplined ridgeway they ended up winning right now red bank valley is pulling a ridgeway card 
We're going to head to a full timeout by Clarion, 38-33 Red Bank, 225 to play. Are you looking for a great place to relax and enjoy the fresh mountain air of the Susquehannock State Forest in the Allegheny Mountains? Then the Potter County Campground is the place for you. Your outdoor adventure starts at the Potter County Campground with family and friends. The Potter County Campground can accommodate all your camping needs. Whether you camp in a tent, RV, or one of their camping cabins, they have a camping experience for you. Open year-round, the 44-acre Potter County Campground is located in the heart of Potter County, God's country. Check them out online at pottercountycamping.com. Back here... Are you looking for a great back here at Clarion High School where it is 38-33 Red Bank Valley with 225 to play. Red Bank Valley ball out of the Lucas Plumbing Heating and Air Conditioning timeout. And right now, Chris, I'm looking at the foul. Clarion's only got two to give, and then it sends Red Bank to the line. Klaus to Owen, and then there's a foul by Brinkley. That should be too. Oh, no, they're going to say it's on the floor. Oh, wow. that's bad. Wow. He was going up for a shot, didn't you think so? I thought he was going for a reverse layup, and he got pushed out of bounds. But, you know, they say that they did it, the contact happened before he was going up. And that puts five on the foul line for now, right now for Red Bank. Oh, what a dish inside. And that was Klaus to finish. Which he class? was left wide open. Which that class? was number 12. Owen. Owen Klaus. Excellent job. Red Bank Valley. Somebody on Clarence team fell asleep. Now a foul on Owen Klaus. So just after the big basket by Owen, he commits his fourth personal. And I tell you what, something uh, to look at here. Lauer to Simcoe. Simcoe gets, gets the ball. Oh, yes. But now Mason Burford, the freshman, is in for Clarion because he's very active. And there he is. Red Bank Valley wanted to run. Now they pull it out. Mason to Fricko. Fricko thought about the three, doesn't take it, didn't need it. Now Owen Klaus. Oh, nice pass by Mason to Owen. That was an excellent, excellent possession of the basketball right there. I thought they might take a little bit more time, but Chris, you and I talked about it before. Take the points. Here's Brinkley. Brinkley, jumper. Doesn't go. Rebound tipped out of bounds. Oh, they're going to say it's Clarion basketball. Un well, they're saying it went off of Aiden Orch, but I didn't My think it did. goodness. I didn't think it did. I thought that should stay Clarion or um, Red Bank that Valley. should have been Red Bank yeah, Valley thought, basketball. Yes. But they're saying it went off of Aiden Orts. And the basketball don't lie as it's turned over by Clarion. You know, what? we've said that a lot here. I tell you what, though. Klaus Owen diving for that ball. And then Bryce Brinkley trying to save it. Couldn't save it. Ball gets turned over to Red Bank. Uh -oh. Now they're going to go long pass. And it's Orts trying to slam instead of laying it off. Oh, you got to just lay it in. Can Clarion take advantage of the miscue? Smell on the other end for three. He barely he does. That's a five-point swing. And that's something you've got to sit down with that young man. And now he goes over. I'm telling you, Aiden Orch just walked over and he apologized to his coach. He did. He said, it's my fault, coach. I should have just laid it up. And that's, you know, he's, he's telling it like it is, Chris. He's going to his coach saying, my bad. <laughs> now Nathan Frederick checking in for Clarion. And Owen Cribble back in for the Bobcats. Going offense, defense here, Chris. Getting a really quick team on the floor uh, for the Clarion Bobcats. You know, that goes from 44-35 30, to 42-38. And here's Orson. I bet you he goes for the layup. He does. And there again, he is an athlete, Chris. He just took off up the floor. They hit him with a long pass. And this time, he lays it in. And now giving the foul there because they have a bunch to give with Red Bank. I like that foul a no, lot. I, I do like that foul. That was Orsi. Now, here's reached. what I don't like about that foul. Clarion would have been forced to call a timeout to get its offensive players back in and the game. And now they can sub them in. Now they can sub them in. Right. Six-point game with 53-8 to play. Don't go away, folks. This one's going to be a good one. Dawson Smale. Dawson Smale. 
He thought that Lauer was going to zig and zag. Lauer zagged. Turnover. Red Bank Valley basketball with 46.7 to play. Up Boy, six. was that big. He, Dawson, Smail thought that Devin Lauer was cutting back door. And I think he should have. It was wide open. Now they're going to foul Owen Klaus. And Owen Klaus is going to go to the Tenesta Metal Supply free throw line to shoot a one and one. Trying to build on the six-point lead for Red Bank. Boy, and I tell you what, Chris, looking at that uh, Aiden Norts. He comes down, he misses the jam, goes over to his coach, apologizes. Very next possession, they throw it to him. This time he lays it in. You know, what, what a mature thing to do as a basketball player for the Red Bank Valley Bulldogs. Shot is up. Shot, though, is no good. Smale with the rebound, and then he throws it away again. And Owen Klaus with the steal, and now they're forced to foul. And now... Things are going Red Bank Valley's way. They really are, Chris. And I tell you, I know that they want to push the pace, push the pace. But right there, you come to a jump stop, you make a nice pass. We're going to take this time out with them. Six-point Red Bank lead, 37.3 to play in this one. Are you hungry? Of course you're hungry. And Daddy's on Main Street in Clarion is ready to tackle that hunger for you. Serving amazing food since 2008, Daddy's has been Clarion's go-to stop whenever hunger strikes. Whether it's a good old-fashioned hot dog or hamburger, a salad, or something from their rotating chef's menu. Yes, I said rotating chef's menu. Daddy has you covered. You can order ahead by calling 814-223-4687 or come on in and dine in. Have a big event you are catering? Daddy's can do that too. Like Daddy's on Facebook at Daddy's Clarion and stop in today. You won't be disappointed. Back here at Clarion High School where the visiting Red Bank Valley Bulldogs who trailed by five at the half have a six-point lead and the basketball with 37.3 seconds to play. I tell you, Chris, where that momentum really started to go Red Bank's way was about midway through that third quarter. They started to claw their way, claw their way, claw their way. They took the first lead of the game by two, and they haven't looked back since. Mason Klaus to trigger for the Bulldogs. Clearing with the full court pressure. Here's Owen. Owen gets it across. Owen runs away from Derek Smale and then throws a pass that he probably shouldn't have. That should be an intentional foul. They're not going to call it, and it drives me nuts that they don't call that an intentional foul, Jess, because you have a guy on a breakaway. You've got a guy not making a play on the basketball and on the body instead. And he was definitely behind the yeah. player with the basketball. So that's why I would think yeah, that it would be a, an intentional foul. Rich Rhodes and I were just talking about that exact situation. There's last no way time. that he could have gotten the basketball. No, you can't get the basketball from there. You stop the breakaway. It's it's a it's a it's a huge break for the defense. Now Lauer with a wild three, no good. Rebounded by Dawson Smale with 11 seconds. They've got to take a shot. They Derek doesn't want it. Dawson does. Dawson can't hit it into the hands of Fricko. Red Bank's gonna win this one. 44, 38. Bulldogs have won seven in a row. Wow, Chris. And they did it with tenacity all the way through that third quarter. They really. Really did a nice job. They kept believing. They kept playing team basketball, and they came out with a victory. Jess, we will have our Allegheny Grill of Foxborough player of the game interview right after these messages. Are you looking for a great place to relax and enjoy the fresh mountain air of the Susquehannock State Forest in the Allegheny Mountains? Then the Potter County Campground is the place for you. Your outdoor adventure starts at the Potter County Campground with family and friends. The Potter County Campground can accommodate all your camping needs, whether you camp in a tent, RV, or one of their camping cabins. They have a camping experience for you. Open year-round, the 44-acre Potter County Campground is located in the heart of Potter County, God's country. Check them out online at pottercountycamping.com.
golfing at one of the prettiest golf courses around is what you get when you play around at Hunter Station Golf Club just outside of Tanesta. Located in the Allegheny Mountains with a spectacular view of the Allegheny River, Hunter Station offers something for everyone. The rolling hills of the front nine, coupled with a back nine situated along the banks of the Allegheny River, create some of the best views in all of northwestern PA. And when you're done with your round, enjoy a delicious meal or a cold drink in our restaurant and bar. Looking for a place to stay? Hunter Station has you covered there too with play and stay packages. Are you looking for a great place to relax and enjoy the fresh mountain air of the Susquehannock State Forest in the Allegheny Mountains? Then the Potter County Campground is the place for you. Your outdoor adventure starts at the Potter County Campground with family and friends. The Potter County Campground can accommodate all your camping needs. Whether you camp in a tent, RV, or one of their camping cabins, they have a camping experience for you. Open year-round, the 44-acre Potter County Campground is located in the heart of Potter County, God's country. Check them out online at pottercountycamping.com. Back here on the Potter County Camping Post Game Show, it's time to name our Allegheny Grill of Foxburg Player of the Game. You're looking at a Mason Klaus of the Red Bank Valley Bulldogs. Mason had, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. I have them unofficially for 15 points tonight. And Mason, when your brother got into foul trouble, it sort of had to go to you in that first half. And you really carried the team in the first half and kept you guys in the ball game. And it kept you within striking distance at halftime. And that was really important, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. When we um, we were just, our shots were, weren't falling too good. So we were starting to get downhill and getting them in foul trouble. And then the pace of play in this game, you guys got them to pay, play at a pace that you guys were comfortable about with. Not how important that was. Yeah, I mean, they were pressing and they wanted us to run the game. So we had to switch it up and slow it down. And then once they were slowing it down, we had to run it up and go fast. Uh, and then in that second half, it, it just seemed like your defense was really the difference in the ball game. You guys were able to, to really shut their offense down. Talk a little bit about your defensive effort. Yeah, you know, coming out of half, we just knew Lauer. He was Lauer and number 10. They were their main scorers, so we just had to shut them down. And once we stopped Lauer, you know, it was pretty much game over. Talk about the two threes from Fricko and how big those were in that fourth quarter. Yeah, he's a really he's a game changer. He's When he's on, he's on, and he fires up the team. Uh, and, and then we just talked off the air a little bit. You guys had a possession that – the only way we could describe it was it was Ridgeway like you were controlling the basketball, controlling the clock. Talk about how this team is more from a team that wanted to run and gun the last few years with the group you had to now this team that wants to play a ball control offense. And just talk a little bit about that. Yeah, you know, last year we had we had three super studs, and this year we don't have those three super studs. So we have to play our game, we have to play more as a team, and we have to play Red Bank basketball, I guess. <laughs> and then uh, talk about what the difference is in this team. You've won seven in a row now. You started the season. It looked like playoffs weren't going to be an opportunity because you were sitting, I think, at two and eight or something like that. What's changed with you guys? Yeah, you know, definitely our mentality. We came into the season thinking we were going to lose, and obviously it has started to happen. We changed a few guys, got some Fricko in that game, and then we just started to play as a team and just went up from there. You know, winning a game like you guys did on Monday at Homer Center when your brother hits the game-winning layup with about 14 seconds to go, coming on the road and beating a good Clarion team, what does this do for the confidence level? You know, this just puts us really high. You know, we only need three more games to make playoffs, and I'm pretty sure that's pretty doable for us now. Well, congratulations, Mason, on being named the Allegheny Grill of Foxburg Player of the Game. Bigger congratulations on winning the basketball game. All right, thank you. That is Mason Klaus, our Allegheny Grill of Foxburg Player of the Game. He gets a T-shirt from the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg. We'll have the headphones back to Jess Quinn here in a moment for his final thoughts. As he's putting them on right now. Jess, uh, what are I your just, final thoughts? I tell you what, you know, listen to that interview, Chris. Uh, what a mature young man Mason Klaus is. Um, but I think that he was right. When Claren wanted to slow it down, they wanted to speed it up. When Red Bank wanted to slow it down, Claren couldn't do anything to get the basketball back. I really liked, you know, that one possession that, that you and I had talked about. Very Ridgeway-like Um and very, very smart. And I keep coming back to that play. I know I said it before with Orts when he tried to jam it. I know it's a big game. He wanted to kind of put it down and everything. He understands you take the points in that situation. Uh, he comes right back. He apologizes to his coach the next time down the floor. He lays it in, giving the Red Bank Valley Bulldogs, extending their lead. Uh, for Clarion, it was just an uncharacteristic third quarter Um but something that I've noticed, Chris, in the last few games, they've had a lead at halftime and they haven't been able to hold it. I really think that uh, Coach Fox needs to look at some things, maybe look at some tape with his team uh, and figure out what is going down. Where are the breakdowns in the second half? Because they've lost a couple games where they've had leads at halftime. 
Once again, folks, final score, Red Bank Valley 44, Clarion 38. Till next week, this is Chris Rossetti saying good night for Jess Quinn. Red Bank Valley winners at Clarion.